Hi everyone, I am back. It's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. I have some Titan, Titan? Yeah, buff golden fluid paint here. Uh, this is what I use for my nails. Um, so I am just going to move on to little Summer Rain's nails. I'm just going to grab her and refresh your memory. She is a real born kit from Bountiful Baby. I wonder if they'll come out with an awake version, because um, I kind of like seeing both the awake and the asleep. Let me use a skinnier brush again. Again, sorry for my palette, it's not fresh. Sometimes I feel like they should be fresh. Okay, so I just have a glob there on the end. So, I also want to, uh, because I made her hands so red, um, I have lost a little bit, or, yeah, the, where the moon would be. So I'm going to go in and paint um, her little moons. Let's see if this brush, this brush looks good. So I'm just going to rinse that one and get it out of there and see if this one will work for me. I need to twist it and get it to a little point. Okay. Make sure I don't have any on my fingers. See her little hands are pretty red, like even where the little moon should be. I gotta make sure I've got my sponge ready. So I just want to paint in there a little and then blend it in. So you can see I did the little middle finger there. If it'll, so you can see that it's showing up there now, whereas where it wasn't really before. I want to get a little bit more water. I hope I'm in trying to like bring it up to me so I can see what's happening. So now I've done the two fingers in the middle there. So I don't I don't want it really um like white or whatever. I've seen some people or well quite a few actually where it's like really really white in there and it just needs a little bit of color I just did the pinky there not sure if you can tell but maybe just a little bit of color we don't like I said you don't want a whole lot and it's grabbing a little bit more she's got a little spot there you go this brush looks terrible have to do a little trimming on it. Just a little bit. Okay, so now her little thumb has had the little moon added as well. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this the best so everyone can see. So I just want to add a little bit more actually to that one because it doesn't show up as well. But we do want to be able to tell the difference between them, so I hope that's focusing. I can't really tell on that itty bitty screen. Okay, so now oh, I forgot to rinse out my blue. There we go. Um, I hate how my sleeves fall down. They get um, which we'll call it, and then they fall down. Okay, so here's a liner brush, and it's bent because I forget that it is in the rinse water, and I leave it in there. Yeah. Anyhow, 
So I'm just going to show how I do the tipping of the nails. This might be a little too thin for this because I do like it a little um, thicker. So I just gently oops, glide along the edge of the nail and then wipe off any excess. I need one of those GoPros that I can put on my head. I think that would be amazing. Alright, I'm just wiping that all the way off. Let's try again. No, not heavy with that either. So as long as you wipe it off right away. And sometimes, oops, I got too much water in there now. Sometimes, or well, most of the time, I should say, I should try to get that as, but I will switch fingernails if I can't get it to go on really nice and smooth. I'm trying to show that little pinky there. Um, so if I can't get it to go on nice and smooth, I'll like change angles. Oops, that kind of went um, off kilter down below, but the top looks okay. Um, yeah, I'll try to like hold it differently or something, a different angle, work on another, oops, work on another um, nail, things like that if I'm having issues with one. But usually, like, oops, I didn't know I got that on the other finger. But usually I, you know, don't have too many problems with the nails. Probably just because I'm on camera right now and not able to, like, really hold it up to myself like normal. Okay, so there's the little thumb trying to figure out the best way to hold it so everybody can see. Uh, let's see. Up. <laughs> there. A little thumbnail. And then the fingers. I'm not really sure how to hold these. Oh, that's not good. Wipe it off. Try again. I do this a lot, usually with the eyebrows. Because eyebrows and I don't get along the best. Some babies, it's usually those that aren't customs that I can um, just do quickly and have them finished. Oh, and I just realized you can't see what I'm doing when I hold it down there. Okay. So I gotta hold it up above and hopefully no, I don't love that either. I just want one little line. Is that too much to ask? I'm gonna move on to this other nail instead, maybe. Like I said, I will kind of like skip around. If one nail is giving me problems, I'll go to the next one and let the other dry. Maybe if I hold it at another at another angle, I got too much paint on the end there. Noises outside. I don't know what to think of it. Hopefully, it's just a neighbor making noise. 
All right, how was I holding that other one? Because that worked pretty good. I mean, really, the paintbrush will follow oops, that little edge of the nail. And I see so many people um, making their line really thick. It looks like the baby needs the nails clipped, you know? I'm just removing a little that got up too high. If I can without wiping the rest off. I just wanted to add a little. Okay. Hopefully, like I said, that I'm in view. This little line on top, I don't like that. I can use a toothpick to take some of the extra paint off that you don't want on there. So it's always, whoops, I wanted to make it a little thicker like the other one. Okay, so after I'm done with a little summer rain here. Um, I'm going to be working again on Brittany. And then I think it'll be a little while until I have a video again. Um, I do have Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. So there's the little nails all tipped and ready for sealing. Uh, I'm going to be sealing her in the soft touch varnish. I've um, sealed, I think, four babies now uh, with that, and I really like it. So Now, I'm going to be honest, my most difficult nails are usually the foot. I really hate these little nails, but, you know, they're so cute when you can paint them. But look how tiny that little nail is. Now, I did paint um, a little Wee Patience by Laura the Eagles, and I don't know, I somehow painted those tiny nails. And they turned out really well, so maybe I'm better at the tiny ones. I don't know. But I'm just doing, just working my way from the pinky to the big toe because the big toe is the one I have the most whoops, trouble with. Hope I'm in frame still. Because I don't want to um, have it too far away from me trying to do these little itty bitty nails. There we go. Yeah, not with that one. It was a little too upstream. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too much um, paint, or not paint, but the water, too much water in my paint is not good. I don't know, that one didn't look good either. I wonder if people take time to think about, like, 
all of this like wiping off and repainting and wiping and painting like if people really like take the time to think about like wow you know these somebody who painted this it took them you know like 20 minutes or half hour or something just to paint the little nails just to tip the nails I know I can't get it to show up um so I will go in and do the little moons as well I was just thinking that the paint was uh, like thickening a bit because of the water evaporating and so I really wanted to get to or use it um, while it's thickening, I guess, to, to say. Um, and then I will do the moons after. Okay. So this is my biggest um, issue is painting along that big toenail there. And then the, the wide line too doesn't look good because then it looks like the baby how do I hold this? Then it looks like the baby needs their nails clipped already or you know, or they should have had them clipped a while ago kind of thing. And that's not good. You want your babies to have nice trimmed looking nails. Just trying to make sure that that is nice and smooth. I do use my thumbnails a lot to um, round off any edges or anything like that. So you can see the little tips. This one's not showing up as much, but it's on the it's on the edge there. Oh yeah, you can see the little nails now. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and get my paintbrush wet and dip a little bit in and then I'm going to just, I hope I'm in the frame, make that little moon there. And I know that they don't have moons at this age, um, but you know, most people like the moon on the nails. That's not even showing up. And then I just kind of blend it. I got a little bit of a white this little pinky toe got a bit more of the paint on it than the rest so it's got a little bit of a moon there oh my hands feel so dried out I'm sure everybody can see in the video how dried out because I wash my hands so so much I was just remembering that I need to go oh why did I skip I skipped and I did this toe here <laughs> oh that's okay now I think the big toe is good see this is how you know normally like I leave the vinyl 
the original color and then I but that didn't happen with the rest of these little piggies so I'm going in and having to add that color back in um, anyhow I was thinking that I need to go to the mailbox soon I have a couple of things I need to drop off so I'm gonna have to in the video soon and get my packages in the mail. This pinky looks like it needs a little bit more, but not that much. Um, it's hard to get that pinky to show up properly. I don't want too much color on there, but I don't I want a little bit more than what's showing though. Um, yeah, I'm going to be mailing off some orders today. I have one going to France, actually. So, um, I do, I have my Etsy shop and people are still ordering, even though it's close to Christmas, which is awesome. I'm just... Excuse me, so happy that people are still shopping for Reborn stuff. And thank you if you're watching and you have purchased from my Etsy shop. It definitely helps me a lot. Because this is my only income and so... Um, I mean, I sell, I sell socks as well, but I mean, they always say it takes money, um, it takes money to make money, right? So my oops, sock business is not very old. Well, it's kind of like a year, I think, but I was going to close it out because I hadn't gotten any sales and I was really discouraged because I really wanted to sell socks because I love socks and um, yeah I wasn't getting any sales and then I think that's when I like announced that I was going to close that business like I'm not going to be selling socks anymore um, and I think that's when I got my first order and then shortly after I got an order after that and I mean, uh, I don't have a lot of socks to sell, so unfortunately I don't have a, like, a huge variety, but I try to buy more when I can. Okay, so I don't know if you can see those little moons there, but there are some little moons. And now I need to go in a little here and do... The nail tips. I was gonna say I hope I'm within. Wish I could like zoom in a little bit more for you guys. But yeah so now I have to ship off some socks and the this morning though I went to the mailbox actually and um I couldn't open it. You know the pull down um handle I couldn't open it it wouldn't open at all and I thought well this is weird I always go to this mailbox so it always opens you know and but not today and I actually like I um like there's two little handles or whatever there's like one that's like a big open um like you pull it down and it opens the whole like, you know, um, the lid or whatever. I don't know what to call it, but that wouldn't, it wouldn't open for me at all. And then there's like a little like, um, silver part that you can like push in. Um, like if you were to just put in a letter, you just push it in there. Um, so I actually opened that and looked in. Um, what I could see from that little opening, but 
there was a ton of letters just shoved in there. And so I don't know if that mailbox was completely full. Like, I always deliver um, or use that box for delivery and everybody seems to get their packages. So I'm not sure what's with today if they're just backed up. Um, I've seen that they're hiring for a mail carrier, so... Maybe that's why? Oops, is that that? Um... Route, so to speak? But you'd think, like, that they would have someone else doing the route if there's, you know, if the person that normally does it isn't there anymore. They would, oops, have somebody um, fill in for them, right? So, I'm not sure. But I'm just really hoping that everything is going okay. Now that I have this down at my level, I'm worried no one else is being able to see what I'm doing. My brush is getting a little on the dried out side and paint all over it, of course. That's not good. All right, let's fix the brush because the end has paint stuck to it. All right, that's gonna set her leg on my lap there. I totally forgot I have a package to take, but I might do that later. So I'm not sure if it, I don't know what to do with the mailbox, you know, like what, what if I can't? I'll have to go to the post office later. But I don't like going all the way to the post office if I don't have to, like the mailbox is like a couple of blocks away, so it's not so bad. And then if it's a nice, like, warm day, just walk it over, you know. And then Marty gets a walk too, so he's happy. He loves going on walks. Actually, he, like, we used to go one direction, now we go another. And the whole time he's always, like, watching behind us. And then I turn around and I'll say, come on, because he'll stand there on the sidewalk and I'm like, what are you doing? Come on, you know, and all of a sudden he'll tuck tail and run towards me and everything and just be right next to me. And then he does the whole thing again, where he just is slow and watching behind us and everything. And I'm like, it's okay. There's no one there. But they, you know, dogs can sense things, so I don't know. Hopefully we're never in any danger. He's just paranoid. But I think chihuahuas are like that. Where they're kind of um, freaked out or whatever. Alright, I'm gonna try holding it in this direction. So I, I don't know if I told you, but I broke down and I got a Johanna, I think that's what she's called. I got a Johanna from um, Bountiful Baby and I love her. I don't know when I'll paint her, but I know like everybody else is making theirs ethnic and I must say that I love her in the ethnic tone as well. But I don't really want to copy everyone. I guess I wouldn't really be copying because everyone else is doing it. But, um, yeah, I just think she looks the best in that ethnic skin tone. So, I don't know when I'll get her either. It's going to be a little while. 
before I got there. That was my alarm saying that I gotta go, by the way, if you heard that little noise ring. What happened? I think I hit the 30 minute mark and I wanted to make this like a not so long video, but it's like so hard not to, especially like with painting. Like I am so slow at painting as well, so I don't know how people get them out so quickly. I'm going to try to hold this another way because I just, no, that's not working either. Um, but yeah, people want their babies so quickly and it's like, I'm sorry, I am extreme. I'm like the sloth of artists. I'm so slow. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to rush at all. When I rush, I mess up like crazy, and then I get discouraged, and then I'm like, sorry, I just can't make a baby for you. I wanted to, but I'm too stressed. Um, most of my customers, though, have at least whoops, one baby that I made for them already. And that would be good. That would have been a good nail, but it was going, it was going uphill and not across. And now I've got too much water. Yeah, it's best to do the nails when they are completely dry. I want to finish this nail before I go. Oh. I like sm smudged on my finger. Or my thumb. My thumb was in the way. Okay. was good and then I wiped off too much. Okay. Sorry, I keep bumping the tripod. It is right over my shoulder. Marty's going to be upset because now I'm going to have to wake him and drag him out side and he's cozy. I like to take him with me as much as possible. He's like my anxiety chihuahua. Wish I could get him one of those little vests. Like work dogs. Work the, you know, for the blind and um, whatnot. Yeah. But he doesn't have any proper training. Okay. Oh, now there's a hair on there. That figures. Seems like whenever. I don't even have any tweezers over here. Oh, there we go. And I touched. Um, whenever things go right, something has to come up that it gets messed up and it is not good anymore and it's like are you serious so let's see I made it a little 
a little too thick, so I'm just trying to rub off. Just gently rub off, by the way, I don't, like, you have to be so careful. Like, this nail really doesn't want to be painted. Mm -hmm. oh, it keeps going up, and I want it to go across. Alright. I'm not sure if I'm just holding it wrong. I do need to hold it down at me so I can see it better though. Oops. Instead, I'm hold trying to hold it up where everyone else can see it. If I can't see it, then I'm messing everything up. Okay, so I've got like half done. I hope my hair is not in the video. Because even I get annoyed watching the video and I'm like, get your hair out of there. I can't see. All right, so I'm gonna leave, finally got that nail. So that's, oh, and I painted the little pinky there. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to her nails when I return. And I think she's pretty much done otherwise. So she looks really, really good. So she's gonna get dark hair and I'm hoping they match her little eyebrows there. I don't know if you can see them, they're just barely there, kind of. I kind of made them darker at the ends. And yeah, so. Well, we'll find out. Um, so I'm gonna get this video uploaded. And then, um, I guess I'll do like the uh, varnishing tutorial as well and get rid of my older one, I think. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day.